Good morning, folks. In light of the multitude of headlines that I just waded through, I thought I'd better come on and make a, uh, a special video today, as well as uh, kind of retract a stance that I had been taking as of recent. Um, I need to retract that with, without a doubt, um, full, full retraction. Um, I have recently said that uh, I didn't think that the United States would go back under a lockdown. Now, I'm not saying we will, but what I am saying is uh, it's no holds barred. I'm pulling off all the stops of expectations of what they won't do. What makes me think this? What makes me say this? Well, again, I have a multitude of headlines, and they keep coming out. They're still coming out. Right literally as I was preparing to do this video, I had to share another one out because another one came out. So just follow with me here. I'm just going to run through. I mean, I've got a number of them up. I'm not going to read the articles. I'm just going to read the headlines, and you're going to get an idea of where this is going and how quickly it is going, and I think it is imperative imperative that we share this information okay i'll leave all the links to all the articles i have open in the description but uh this time it might be easier to share the video so anyway and i'm not saying that for views or anything else uh one other bit of housekeeping before we jump in um it is black friday so uh, for those that plan to shop on Amazon, the very first link before I put the links to the uh, to the uh, articles I'm going to show here, the very first link is going to be our Amazon affiliate link to uh, the Amazon Black Friday sale. So um, that is, uh, I'm working on bringing it up. There you go. Um, the link will take you to this page here. They're Black Friday deals. And it doesn't matter what you do after after you click the link. Um, you can go off the Black Friday part of their you know Amazon page and go totally somewhere else and place an order. We still get credit. Um, <clears throat> but I just figured if you're if you're gonna be shopping and if you don't mind using our Amazon affiliate link, it's not like we make a fortune off of it, but every little bit helps. So that link will be first in the description. It's much appreciated if you do so. Um, it's one way that you're not paying any extra money and able to help us out at the same time. So anyway, I wanted to note that. I also want to note that um, in our description is the link to our Twitter page. You might, if, if you've got a Twitter account, you might want to follow us. And I totally could not give a crap about how many followers I've got or anything over on Twitter. I just use Twitter as a platform to put our information out. And I would highly recommend you pay attention to that uh, over the course of the next coming days. And we're going to get to why. So we're going to do that right now. So what this is all about is this super mutant COVID strain. Uh, and as it says, it's triggering emergency responses from around the world. Um, I don't know what's going on with this. I'm not taking any sides anywhere on it. All I can tell you is it really doesn't matter the truth the, about the virus or about the disease when you know damn well what a government's going to do. So that is my focus on bringing this information to you. I'm not here to debate a virus or, or anything like that. I'm not here to debate anything. I'm here to help you uh, understand and get ready for what's likely coming at us. So anyway, the next uh, article I have here, and again, all the links to all these articles I'll put in the description. <clears throat> Going to be a long description today, folks. A new super mutant COVID strain prompts EU to seek air travel ban. Stocks crash over new COVID variant fears. New B11529 COVID variant, worst one so far, the UK says. European countries impose restrictions over worst ever COVID-19 strain. You're starting to see a pattern here? Super mutant COVID strain found in Asia and the Middle East. Bitcoin plunges as COVID rears its ugly head. 
Mutant virus attacks global oil. Israel on verge of emergency over B11529 COVID variant. WHO could take weeks to understand the new COVID strain. <clears throat> and I see a number one up there. Let me make sure that it's... Uh, no, that's actually something totally different. Let me get that off to the side so I don't forget to share it out. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is, this is nuts. Those are the headlines that I've got that I, that's just, folks, that's what I shared out today, except for the very first one, the very, very first one I did put out last night in all transparency, but starting at, uh, this one here on to all of the rest, those are just headlines, headlines I shared out this morning. I am telling you, you better get ready. I'm telling you, I retract everything I've said about me thinking that lockdowns wouldn't come back to the United States. I'm not saying they're going to. What I am saying, and I don't think there's a limit at this point at what they won't, you know, will or won't do. So anyway, I just wanted to bring you the information. I hope you all have a, uh, a good day and a good weekend. And uh, good Shabbat, of course. And uh, wow, just keep a close eye on this. If uh, if there's a bunch more that comes out, I, I and I see a number two up there now. Um, hang on, one of them is a COVID. Uh, is a COVID. Let me get that open right here. Uh, first case of worst ever COVID-19 variant reported in Europe. You see how quickly this is going. You know, when when the news spreads faster than the virus, maybe it's time we take notice, you think? Anyway, I am out of here. Again, I'd appreciate if you plan on shopping on Amazon, if you click that link in the description there. certainly helps us out. We certainly appreciate it. And uh, keep your eyes open, folks. Hope you have a good day. Shalom. <laughs>